All right, uh, on today's video, <clears throat> some of these cam cores, especially for uh, small block Chevrolet and big block Chevrolets, uh, they're a three-piece design with uh, what they call an everywhere gear. And we're gonna change one, uh, the, the, you know, it's burn up. We're gonna change the gear. We're gonna show you how to do that, uh, hang loose. All right, so these cores come from camshaft machine and they're available for uh, small block and big block Chevrolets. And I think they're available for uh, some small block Fords too, but I just haven't ever actually had one in my hand. But I see them pretty regular have killed the gear and we have gears in stock and I'm gonna press this thing apart, change the gear and put it all back together. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how we do that. And you know, if you run a shop, I mean, you can do it. If you need a gear, uh, I can sell you a gear and you can do it on your own. It's, it's not rocket science, but if you want to send it in, you know, I'm happy to do it for you. So let's go out here at the press. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're outside and the sun's beaming on us. We, we in the construction zone out here. So I just got a standard bearing separator and we are just gonna get under this rear journal and then we can press that journal off and then we'll get under the gear and then we'll press the gear off. And they, they pin, God, that sounds bad. They pin the gear right here after it's pressed on, they pin it just for a safety feature. So after we get it all done, we have to take it, put it in the mill, and then we'll drill and insert a roll pin in, that, in a hole. We'll just make a new hole. All right, so then you go right back. And now this gear is beat up pretty good. So it doesn't have quite as much, but generally it's still not a problem. They'll come right off, generally speaking. So we'll see if it's going if that's going to be the case. see there where the pin is and so I just always make a note of where the pin is now and then I'll just go 90 degrees from that once we're done and uh and put a put a new pin in it all right let me go grab a new gear all right so we got our we got our new gear is that is that sun killing it I just lube it a little bit nothing crazy and then we'll do the gear first. And I, I always just go up to the next journal and use the next journal to, uh, to press off of. I got the gear on and now we'll put the journal back on. 
And I always do try to make sure that I line it back up as best as I can the way it come off just to minimize any journal run out that possibly may be there. Uh, I mean, I don't think you gotta be absolutely perfect, but I always mark them or something so we can just try to get back close. between the two surfaces when it when it goes down because the So that's how the gear goes back on. And then we'll come in here to the other shop and show you once it's in the milling machine, what, what we do in the milling machine to pin it. <clears throat> All right, so we just got it in the mill and it's flat in the vise and tight. And we got to find the center and then we'll drill a hole and then we'll insert the pin and then and then that job's done. So let me find my edge finder. Y'all. Uh, basically, that's one in seven fifty. So half of one in seven fifty is uh, eight seventy five. So that's the center, so we'll just go ahead and make Y zero. And I use uh, screw machine drill bits on most of these machining operations. Uh, they're, they're stub, uh, you know, in screw, if you, I mean, if you ain't from the machining world, you don't really know what a screw machine is. but. But these are designed to not need to be spot drilled. Uh, they're pretty rigid, they're short, they uh, 135 degree with a split point. So they, they do very well as far as, you know, not needing to uh, spot the hole before you start drilling. And it's not critical, we're just going to kind of eyeball the center of that flat and then we'll, we'll drill her out.
take me a little hammer and a punch and we'll drive her home. Make sure that hole's clear. And that's our little roll pin. This one is repaired and then we'll just have to do the same thing to the other one. Um, but you know, it's generally speaking, not always, but generally speaking, it's pretty straightforward operation. Sometimes it'll try to gall this back journal and, and, and that's trouble, but usually they come on and off pretty fair. So uh, just be aware that you can, that these cores can be repaired. And obviously once it's all back together, we put it between centers and confirm that journal run out is, is you know, zero or cl close to it. All right, uh, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, like, share, subscribe, check out the website. We'll see you on the next one.